Eyewitness News this morning. Prince Harry wrapped up his two-day royal visit to New York, moving from a Harlem community center to a polo match on Governor's Island. Along the way, he greeted fans and was hobnobbing with quite a few celebrities. Eyewitness News reporter Stacey Sager joined the crowd of onlookers following the Fresh Prince of New York. New Yorkers couldn't get enough of their new favorite prince this weekend. 24-year-old Harry began his day here at the Harlem Children's Zone, watching ninth graders practice algebra. The prince admitting he didn't understand much of it. He was an average person. He didn't try to be somebody. He was just himself. And Harry was very much himself with the younger kids here, too, jokingly asking them if they'd tasted their cafeteria food before he did. Prince Harry alongside the African prince from Lesotho also figured he'd have a blast with their obstacle course. Still, the prince got in some serious conversations about HIV and orphan children in Africa, something Harry's mother, Princess Diana, cared very much about. And while Americans seem to respect Harry for having served in Afghanistan, there is that playboy image to contend with. One reporter asking him if the trip to New York might help. It's the media that likes to stamp on the image that really isn't me, so, but no, this trip's been fantastic. Harry finished off his day with a charity polo match here on Governor's Island. Of course, not everyone is famous enough to get too close to a prince. I was yelling, Harry, 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 all I saw was the top of his head. But still, reporters can dream about asking a prince at least one what question. What do you like best about New York? The weather. The weather? However quick that might be. Stacy Sager, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. The weather? Hmm. Well, Prince Harry made another stop in Manhattan last night. He visited the intrepid Sea, Air, and Space Museum that's docked on the west side. Prince Harry inspected the World War II aircraft carrier and the cockpit of a retired British Airways Concorde jet. As a gift, the prince was given a piece of that intrepid's original wooden flight deck. Wow. He's bringing some Isn't stuff. Isn't that out. wild? Yeah. We didn't show the part about when he rolls down the window and goes, actually, you, right. Stacy." Stacey. It's the reporter <laughs> from Eyewitness that News. <laughs> that's it. That would have been that's good. It. He said the weather. I was a little surprised by that, but that's cool. It's nice. it's yeah. Good. It's great.